In our last video, we talked about this broadcasting a start the new game uh, message. And in this video, we're going to go through all the places where that needs to be inserted. So let's start with the frog. Um, our frog really is just one big chunk of code. And uh, what we kind of need to think about is how many times do we need to execute all of this code? So I'm just going to separate the forever for a minute and, put, and just kind of pull it down. Um, so we still have all of our moments in the game where there's happiness and sadness. But up here, when the green flag is clicked, there, there's these are kind of different. And so I'm just going to put that off to the side. So I actually don't want this to happen only when the green flag is clicked. I want it to happen every time they choose to play the new game. So what I'm going to do is when it, it says when I receive and I'm going to choose start new game. So when I receive start new game, then I want to set the frog to be alive. Then I want the level to go to zero, the points to go to zero and the lives to go to, I decided five. And then I want it to glide to that new. So now I'm going to reattach this. And at this point, you could say uh, a number of different things. But when the green flag is clicked, uh, doesn't necessarily need to be those things. You could also say that when the green flag is clicked, you could choose a costume. Maybe you have multiple costumes. But for me, I don't really need that when the green flag is clicked anymore. Um, for the vehicle, uh, I am going to only start doing all of this driving when the vehicle is um, moving. And to be honest, I might even have different scripts in the future where I might want to have the vehicles stop and start, but I'm going to set that to when when I receive start the new game, then the vehicles can move. And I'm also going to say when I receive game over, I actually want the vehicles to stop. So I'm going to go to the control area and say stop. Stop other scripts in this sprite. That's the perfect one right there. So that's going to make all of these things up here stop when I receive the game over script, which is perfect. Um, now, this is so uh, kind of simple and convenient to do. I've done it for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and do it for each one of the other ones. But I'm going to slightly cheat. And I'm going to just drag it over and drop it into the other ones. You can see they kind of do a little wiggle dance. There they go. And I'm also going to cheat a little bit and separate this one out and just drag them over. Now, by the way, when I go to the truck, you can see I've got a couple of pieces have just arrived here. So I'm going to separate this one. And then there's the pieces that I want. And so when I start a new game, it goes there. And then when I do game over, I go there. So I'm just going to carry on and do that myself. And we'll pick up in the next video with something totally different.